One. Tony, welcome back to Ashton Gate. You must be uh, pleased to be here today as an ambassador for the former Players Association. Yeah, absolutely. It's my um, second visit this year as an ambassador and obviously I love coming down to Bristol. Uh, a bit torn today because obviously it's against QPR, one of my old clubs, but uh, I'm looking forward to the game. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. You must be torn because you had you know, a successful spell at both of these clubs. What, what do you think of today? What do you think of today's game? Well, I mean, I have kind of sat on the fence a little bit. I think that both teams are where they are. You know, they've just lost, Bristol have just come off two defeats and QPR are of a, a kind of very similar kind of start to the season, a couple of points ahead of Bristol. So I think this is um, set up for a great game today because Bristol can leapfrog uh, QPR and QPR win and they can go pretty much closer to the top three or four. So I think it's evenly matched. Um, but like I said, I think I'm sitting on the fence a little bit with a draw. <laughs> A draw is a safe bet, a safe bet. Um, so tell us a little bit about the former Players Association and your role as an ambassador. What are you going to be doing today? Yeah, so we, um, I go around with a couple of the guys, the ex-pros here and the ambassadors, and we go to the Heineken Lounge. We go, obviously, it's Steve, is it Steve Lansdowne's 25th anniversary, is it? Okay, yeah. Today, I think. Uh, I think he's been here 25 years, so we'll probably pop and see him and go around the boxes, say hello to some old people that obviously would remember me because it's been quite a few years. Um, and just basically socialise really and just get to see people, which is great. Now, I want to ask you about the current crop of players. As a striker yourself, City haven't been shy in front of goal, that's fair to say. Who's really stood out for you as a striker in front of goal for City this season? Well, obviously, I've always been a big fan of Wyman anyway. Um, Naki Wells has just thankfully broken back into the team from a bit of a slow start last year. Um, so you have got goals in abundance with those two. Um, so I'd expect them two to continue their form throughout the season. I think Nigel would prefer, obviously, the back four to be a bit more sharper and a bit more you know, defensive-minded in the terms of the way we play but I think the Bristol City fans love the offensive kind of you know style that Bristol are playing this year um, there's not many been many nil nils has there so um, I just long mate continue with Naki and obviously uh, the young lad is it Tommy uh, on the left hand Tom, side Tommy Conway yes the young lad it's doing really well as well so you know within the three of them you know there's goals goals in abundance now I can't let you go just yet so many so many fans have got so many great memories of you but for you what is your favourite game and maybe favourite goal of your time at Bristol City? Yeah, so um, I'd, I'd like to say my hat-tricks were, were very important at the time. I think I got three here uh, over, the, over the four years. Um, but I'd have to probably, um, probably say Bristol Rovers at home, at Ash, you know, that lovely uh, Christmas evening. Um, obviously, it was the winner at, you know, at the end of the game. We, we actually snuck it 3-2, but it was 3-1 uh, when I popped that header in. And um, I'd say that's probably one of my favourite games. And I've spoke to a lot of Bristol City fans, and I think that's their memorable game, um, being uh, obviously beating the rivals up the road. I think that makes sense. Well, here's to a memorable game today. Thank you, Tony. Take care. Thank you.